Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime with O Razzle Dazzle. Today I'm going to be reading you a horror story, so be prepared for a little bit of excitement. If you have any stories you would like me to read, then just post them down in the comments below and I will get to them. Warning, this webtoon is a special horror episode for this summer season. Since it contains shocking scenes, reader discretion is advised for pregnant women, the elderly, and those suffering from serious medical conditions. So listen at your own fucking advisory. Mystery Sketch 2011 Written and illustrated by Horang, this story is based on true eyewitnesses' accounts. So keep that in mind, that's pretty fucked. Alright, let's get into this. It was around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home exhausted after a tiring night of study sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who was there and saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if she, all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, she's turning around. She's turning around. Oh, look at her fucking face. Oh, look at her fucking face. The head's not meant to do that. The head's not meant to do that. You know, people say that if you are really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where is my baby? <laughs> my thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gives me chills thinking that moment. Gulp. <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> Gulp. Look at her, she's clenching her fist or something. She's pointing! I answered pointing as far as I could. Oh, over there! <laughs> I just wanted her to get away from me. Then she limped towards where I pointed to. And I couldn't see her anymore. You do not lie to a fucking zombie! Or whatever that thing is. I think she has Converse shoes on. <laughs> Fearing that I meant I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave the apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there could be people around. At that moment, dun dun dun, she is not here! I heard her screaming from far away. Like I said, do not lie. Do not fucking lie. Learn your manners. Oh god! Look at her. She's going. Oh no, she's getting closer! She's getting closer! Oh my god, she's getting closer! Oh, she's so close! Oh, she's right in front of us! <laughs> Oh my god! Look at her! Look at her! Oh, ah, ah. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, at an apartment complex in Bongxian Dong, Guangaku Seal, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as surname Cho, a divorced due to her extra martial affair. She had lost her custody of two of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After the incident, Cho was seen walking around the apartment complex several times. After the incident, Cho has been seen walking around the apartment. I just read that twice. That is the end of the story. That is sad. That is... That was a good horror story. Apparently that is based on true events too. So, yeah, that was that's pretty scary, man. If you ask me, that's pretty fucked up if that's real. That is some as you've seen when I scroll down, that's like I don't know, I don't want to be hated on if I say this wrong. It's Japan or it's it's one, something over there. It's Chinese or something, some kind of language, but this has just been converted to English, so 
That's how I was able to read it. If you enjoyed this story, I, I loved it. It was all right. It was a good little short story. Then just leave, leave a like, post your comments down below on how you think it went. And um, if you have any you want me to read, then fuck, I'll read it. I'll, I'll read them all. Po post the story down below and I'll read it. So, don't forget to subscribe for more stories. And I do gaming videos. So do not forget to check those out. And I hope you enjoyed this fucked up story. I'll see you next time.